mean, it massively <laughs> changed everything, changed the, 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 the way I live, the way I work. Uh, but to be honest, um, obviously, despite of, you know, the, the, all the restrictions and not being able, in my case, you know, for instance, to travel to visit my family back in Argentina, which is the, the, the thing that worries me the most. Uh, I think a lot of changes have been super positive. I think I became a better leader uh, uh, in a way, you know, being able to lead people like this, it's, it's challenging, but I think that I grew a, a lot. I also feel like, yeah, I, I all of a sudden I like, realized I have a lot more skills than I thought, you know, cooking skills, uh, gardening skills, as you can see. Uh, like a lot of things I, I never really imagined I could do. So yeah, it was a, a bit of a rediscovery for me in a way. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. I think, uh, yeah, we, we, we should. Seeing how quickly we adapt, we adapted to everything, uh, just shows the potential of the industry. And I think we, we just realized uh, that we can do a lot more than we were actually doing. And we can think about different things and, and, and see things in a different way and tackle different types of challenges. I think it's, um, I think that the crisis, uh, what actually showed is the idea of change. I think that as human beings are always like really afraid of that word and all of a sudden we had to change there was like no other way of uh, tackling the crisis if it, it was, wasn't going through a lot of changes changes in the in the way we think changes in the way that we approach work every day so i think to, you know to keep on embracing the idea of change and to keep on embracing the idea of like that just we don't control anything and, and embracing that and making part of our um, daily lives uh, as creators, I think, uh, can only make things uh, better. I think that like, we all witness it how things that we, ch we we thought, you know, like last year or even like three months ago, right now just don't make any sense, you know. So don't don't be attached to all of those things. I think it was like, such a big learning too as creators. Um, I don't know, for instance, I was working a lot of side projects that all of a sudden just didn't make sense anymore. I had to start from scratch. But in a way, it just felt like so um, liberating uh, in a way. And to, you know, be able to rethink things and, and, and to rethink things in a, in, a, in a different environment, in a different world that just appeared in front of us. And we, we, I mean, we had no chance, we had to adapt to it. I think it gave everyone new opportunities. Um, I think we all like learned so much from all of this. I, as I was saying, I think I, I, I actually became a more precise uh, creative leader. You don't have that much time to be pulling around, I <laughs> think you have to be super precise on what you want. Uh, because, I mean, you don't have um, people all together in the same room, so there's no um, room or space for misinterpretation or, or uh, no. I mean, you have to be super precise in what you do. So I think in that sense, it, it, it actually made me, made me better. Uh, what I do miss is uh, the energy. Uh, of having a lot of people in the same room. Uh, I think creativity, you know, gets nurtured from the energy of like a lot of people together doing something uh, in the same room. And when you don't have that, when you don't have that type of energy. Um, yeah, obviously, the, um, it, it's just different. Um, but I think like, we all adapted quite well uh, and quite quickly. I was actually quite shocked to see uh, how quickly I, I adapt to it. And the first two weeks I was dying, and then I was like, okay, hey, this is not that bad. I think we can all, we can all do it. Um, but yeah, I think uh, better leadership for sure. 
And I think that's something that, that's one of the biggest learnings from all of this. And yeah, being a lot more precise in, in, in what you want. I think we all became a lot more precise. So yeah, I have um, I was watching uh, throughout the the, the, the lockdown uh, this band that you know every night they go together. Uh, even they couldn't be together and they play one song every night. It's called La Boa, La Boa de Sac. They are from all from Madrid. Um, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful to see it and a lot of people. Uh, well, like looking forward every every night to to their song, and it was such a small thing to do, but so beautifully executed. And you know, like not being together, it's not an excuse for not doing something uh, beautiful together. It, it was it was super cool. I think that was one of my favorite initiatives and the one that I I follow every night. I think what kept me like on track was to really focus on, on making my home the, the, the best space um, I could live. I was never really like so much uh, like, here and um, I don't know, it really helped me to build a space uh, here with, with my partner and, and to take care of, of my home. and to start actually, instead of leaving it as a, as a constraint uh, uh, and um, always missing being out, outside, to try to build a space at home that I felt um, happy and joyful to, to be. So I, I just took this time to refurbish my house completely and it was a super nice therapy. It's like, okay, if we have to stay, we're going to stay and we're going to make it amazing. <laughs>